to get them up before the alarm. So I'm probably just going to lay here just for a couple of seconds. Get my thoughts together and get up for today. And um, turn this alarm off since I didn't use it. And I do not disturb. It's still set. <laughs> Look still. Do not disturb. Alright. Let's get this day started, y'all. And I'm gonna see if I can fuse this together with my <laughs> lighter. Let's see how this works. I'm in dressed and ready to head downstairs. It is 4:31. Go eat my breakfast and get ready to head out. So see y'all later. I'm only having bacon and a cutie for breakfast. Um, you know my watch is mad early. It's actually 4:29. Um, I always set my watch fast, but yeah, I couldn't fuse that piece together guys so I have to order another band but I'm just gonna take the piece off the other band so I can put this down unless I know a way that I can keep that down without ordering another band all right so let me eat this breakfast y'all I'm just in my own little world right 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 get the music right right uh, <laughs> yeah I was groggy I was moody I was I said, Lord, please take this up off me, whatever it is. But I looked it up. I'm it says it your body is like, it's like a chemical imbalance when you're not exercising. Mm -hmm. So the endorphins come through the body and the body don't know how to react. So you kind of like, like, ooh, you know what? I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I don't want to be bothered. I don't know. What, like, I don't know. I thought of every reason in the book. Yeah. Let me tell you, I said, I should just call until I got diarrhea. But what good is that going to be? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You, you just. You I'd know, be the same. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna sleep a little bit longer. Uh -uh. I'm gonna sleep a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, uh, nope, let me get up. Let me get up. Cause then, <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm be mad at my own self. I like, know. you're doing it to yourself. You're, you're, you're not right. hurting nobody you're right. else. So, you're right. but yeah. I'm here. I made it and I left my water. Oh well. Still staying. I'm gonna get it in without it. Hopefully, I'll be okay. So, alright, y'all. Oh, oh, sorry, mom. Yes, guys, I always want to start off with those stretches, and it's helped me so much, and it will help you as well. You won't be as achy the next day when you stretch those muscles to prepare them before you warm out and before you work out. So that's what we're doing. I forgot to turn on my heart rate monitor, so I just turned it on before the treadmill workout. This is so embarrassing. I didn't want you guys to see it from this angle, but I also want to be real with you guys and show you the excess fat around my knees and the pain that I have and the struggle that I have with the weight on my legs. It keeps them rubbing together and all that stuff that I don't like. So that way I can look back at and it's funny. It looks like I'm going backwards when I speed it up, but this was definitely a workout, but I will definitely share with you again what my favorite one is. If you missed it, um, I enjoy another cardio machine, but I do like to warm up with mom because we come in together. Then I go off and kind of do my own thing because we're basically working at our own speed and she's okay with that. So that's how 
it works for us as partners and pushing each other and inspiring each other to just keep moving so we can become healthy and get these bodies fit. So I'm done with the 20 minutes on a treadmill and I'm going to be showing you my calorie burn versus the machine. Now my actual monitor goes by my height, weight and age. This machine doesn't give me the exact amount that I burn. So that's why it's good to have your own heart rate monitor so you can see the exact calories that you burn. So I decided to try this machine today and uh, yeah, I felt like I was, I'm a tall girl, so it was kind of weird. I felt like I was just squished in between there. So it took me some time to get it right. Um, and I'm sharing all this with you because this is experience of my overweight and um, just being uncomfortable. And I didn't give up, I did it for 10 minutes. I said, okay, I'm at least gonna do it for 10 minutes because I got 25 minutes of working out and then I'll get on something else after 10 minutes. So yeah, I tried and it wasn't bad, but I think it's because I'm not comfortable with it and I don't know the machine. That's why I was a little like, uh, okay. But I did it for 10 minutes. All right, I've been asked the guy at the gym to help me and he said he haven't gotten it either but he said by the time i come back next monday he will have figured it out for me so that was my 10 minutes on that machine now we get to my baby i love this machine this machine actually burns more calories if you notice from my calorie burn yesterday versus my calorie burn today i did 25 minutes on this machine but today i did 15 because i broke it up between that last machine and i only burn i think 470 and yesterday i burned burn 530 so this right here burns more it's easier on the joints and it's easier on just your body period it's like a gliding but it is an actual whew, it's a workout y'all y'all gotta try it i think you'll love it as well so do you guys think that i should put music in here or what do you think just leave it the way it is and you guys just kind of watch me um i speed it up for reasons of not allowing this video to be too long and you can kind of get a gist of what i did in the gym to inspire you to move as well um it's not a full workout showing you the full workout but just showing you a little bit of what i did at the gym so if you have any suggestions on ways that i can make it easier things that you think of make it like you know a little bit more fun um I'll, I'll take suggestions i'll do what's best for me but i'll always take suggestions and kind of see what will work for me from the suggestions okay so it's nearing the end of this and it is time for me to go get that massage that i'll wait for wait for i love 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 the massage part of it so that's what you're gonna head out and do when i did my 15 minutes all right y'all oh they don't got the fish thing up today they had the fishes last time. I'm scared to try this, y'all. I'm so scared to try that, but I think I am. I did do it, get a little research, mom. Uh -huh. I think I might try it one day. I will continue to repeat this. This is like the most enjoyable part out of the actual workout because you look forward to this. You have something to look forward to and it is so worth the membership alone. Even if you couldn't work on any equipment and only can come in here and do this, it is so worth it. And I love the fact that you can put the massager where you want it. I take my shoes off and put my feet on it, let it do my feet to, from my feet to my head. And you know, once you get off, you just make sure you wipe it down really well for the next person that's getting on. But this is so relaxing. And I just listen to my music and lay back and just get my thoughts together while I get a massage. Is the calorie burn, let me stop it. Hold on. All right, so hour and seven minutes. 470. All right, y'all. It's meatballs and gravy. Um, 
and um, they're going to have rice and mixed vegetables, and I'm just going to eat meatballs and mixed vegetables, so that's why I got that meat out um, to make my homemade meatballs, and then I had some strawberries that were kind of going bad, so I cut the bad parts off, and I'm going to cut this banana, put it all in here and freeze it, so I can make some strawberry banana um, ice cream um, later, just with these items and a little bit of honey um, and vanilla um, extract, and then I'm going to freeze these grapes, because I heard that's really tasty. I have not tried them. Have I tried? I think I did, and I did like it, yeah. So I'm going to freeze a pack of these grapes um, as well. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm going to guzzle down some water because I left my water for today. Um, didn't have it at the gym, so it is 6.47. Mom and I were in the car talking before I got out, so that's why it's a little late. About to shower after I do this, and I will see you guys later for my snack or my lunch, whatever I decide to choose after. Just got done cleaning out my candle jars this is the walmart candle and um that yankee candle i was telling y'all about that i loved the um moonlight oh that candle smells so good oh that's my favorite and i got a piece i think i'm gonna burn this in my melt my candle warmer but yeah i'm gonna utilize these for something some sort of storage I guess I'll take a shower now. So I'm getting ready to nibble on this is, let's see what time it is, 10.13. I just got up from editing my um, three videos plus the vlog that I got to put out tomorrow. So I'm going to munch on this and drink some water. I'm not trying to eat too much today until dinner time and then have my evening snack that I want to have by 8 o'clock so that way I can get my confession done before 9 because after the confession I don't want to eat anything I really want to make it so I have eaten everything before but we shall see how that works yeah because sometimes I don't be hungry then I get hungry later and I know it's because of the transition I'm used to eating so late so I'm trying to get myself to eat earlier and not be eating as late or whatever so yeah I have a haul that I'm sharing with you guys um, of, you know, the healthy transitioning, um, my meals and my stuff that I bought that I got Sunday, last Sunday. Um, I didn't share that with you guys. And the way I do the hauls, you guys are going to like it. And if you have any suggestions when you see that haul, just let me know. I'll probably put that out early next week or um, maybe next Tuesday or something. I don't know because I got two good videos for you guys this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, which is my rest day. So we shall see. So I'm just going to guzzle this up. Um, TV is off. I think I'm just eat this and just go to sleep. I got to do hair at uh, 4 o'clock. So, yeah, I'm probably just taking a nap and get myself together for that. So, I will see you guys later for my lunch or whatever I decide to eat. If I do, probably be some more fruit. Um, and I don't know when I'm going to eat the strawberry banana ice cream. That might be my late snack, my later on snack. We shall see. All right. But I'm so ready for these meatballs. I think when I get up at like 12, 1 o'clock, I'm going to probably make the meatballs and have them just season them, waiting, because um, I'm going to do them in the oven, do them real simple, do them in the oven, make the gravy, and just baste them in the oven. I think that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Y'all shall see. All right, y'all. I literally, hold on, had another serving. Like, I ate four of them already. This is my aftermath from a little bit of the first one I just showed you I still had a little bit of peanut but I was like oh let me get some more pretzels but I got more than some because I ate like four of them already this stuff is so good oh my gosh I don't think I'm gonna do too many sweets I'll probably just do my ice cream um the banana ice cream and that's it because yeah I OD'd on this well not really but it's good you need to try it my lunch but my confession is this butter that you see here is not the only butter I put on it. It kind of melted. There's butter, cinnamon, and brown sugar on these. Um, yeah, th this is lunch. And I told you I'm just going to keep it real, but still be moderate and not overdo too much. Yeah, your girl was hungry. And they're, they're not really big. If you look at the size of the fork, these potatoes are not really big at all. They're really little. And I can literally probably put all of them in my hand. They're really little potatoes. So, yeah, this is my lunch. What is that? Mm.
about how I'm sitting here literally going through withdrawals with cravings like my emotions and my cravings have been all over the freaking place I felt like I was good like it wasn't a real issue and I was kind of getting to that hump of getting over it oh my gosh today I ate a serving of peanut butter and pretzels then I went back and got more because I had extra peanut butter then I ate sweet potatoes like I ate like two of those frozen grapes because they had frozen try to get me some water and drink that but I want something sweet so bad oh my gosh I want something sweet so bad I couldn't wait to tonight to put this in a confession like what I used to do when I really used to crave 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 stuff I used to try to work out or do something I gotta figure it out I gotta figure it out because y'all I'm, I'm just, listen your girl is struggling right now and I'm up in my room trying to be cool um Oh, I'm really struggling. I'm like, do I want to eat a rice cake? Um, should I just eat the rice cake? But then I feel like I'm eating too much. What did I eat today? Just had the bacon. The cutie came home. And then, what did I eat? Oh, I felt like I ate something. Else. I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. <sighs> Oh, well. Yeah, but I'm struggling. Today is a struggle day for me. Today, day four is a struggle day. Like, oh my gosh, I'm thinking of all the good stuff. And then I am end up watching videos or YouTube videos that's having people eating all this good old food. Like, I'm like, uh. Then tonight I'm supposed to be doing the meatballs with the mixed veggies. And I'm like, you know what? I wasn't going to eat rice, but I think I'm going to eat a little bit of it. Just a little bit of it with my meatballs um i don't think i am going to because i just feel like that's gonna make it even worse um and that was my thing i don't want to deprive myself and just be in moderation but you know with that i know i can be in moderation with regular food it'd be them sweets anything that is sweet still it's like uh, it's a challenge for me and i'm only sharing this because this is the real this is the journey this is what i'm going through and i literally um Maybe I could just repaint my nails because I took the polish off because it was chipping and acting funky. And um, so I might just, yeah, I might paint my nails and just maybe just guzzle down mad water because I think I'm hungry, but I'm not. And I know that helps a lot of times when you do. This video might be a little bit long because I didn't expect to get on and do this, but this is the journey. And this is what I want to share because we are human. If I, um, you know, I'm going through or whatever, I don't want y'all to think this is perfect. I'm literally going through like I can literally do, roll around this bed and scream because I feel like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. I want something sweet. I want something sweet. I want something sweet. <sighs> I think I just have to eat a rice cake and eat them grapes. I was trying to hold off on that little ice cream. Um, and them strawberries wasn't that sweet, so I don't know how that's going to turn out. I might have to use more honey in my ice cream. I don't know. We shall see. My mind all over the place right now, but this is this is the real deal, Holyfield. Um, yeah. And like I said, as we go on, I'm going to be more creative with sharing because I want y'all to see the real deal. Um, not me just popping up, done lost all this weight and then trying to say, hey, this is what I didn't know. I want y'all to kind of go through it with me because I need the encouragement and it helps. It helps. I know it's not going to be perfect. I know that. But at the end of the day, um... I love being able to share my journey with you guys and having that you guys having that the encouragement from you guys makes me push more and I keep keeping in my brain you're not you're not um gonna it's not gonna happen overnight you're not gonna get it all overnight and I'm just so hard on myself I need to just stop being so hard on myself but I also don't want don't want to keep slipping up neither. Well, it's not slip up. See, this is the things I go through in my mind. It's not really a slip up because I don't want to deprive myself. But then I feel like once I taste it, I want more of certain things. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't know. I think I'll just get a rice cake and, and just that'll be it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do because I need something sweet. And I'm, I'm like going through it right now. And that's way better than me eating something heavier and more ridiculous than rice cake with peanut butter <sighs> all right y'all 
had to have it. I got a broken one. It had broke, so I took that out of the bag and another one. Couldn't take it. Couldn't take it. I'm just going to keep drinking my water. So it's time to start dinner. food and see the fork on top of it is not a whole bunch and I still got mad room on the plate so yep I decided to get a little bit of rice and gravy and that's what I'm eating so here is my nightly treat my strawberry banana ice cream it is so freaking tasty oh my gosh you I just know, kinda right? mix the items to your liking as far as how thick you want it to be and voila, you will have some natural, non-processed Get around and get on the blade, man. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. It made more than I thought. This is a nice size bowl of it and then I still got more oh my gosh this is so good this is my bowl and it's starting to melt but it's like a soft serve and this is my hubby's and y'all you have to try this we actually added a little bit more milk in it um and honey but that's it just regular strawberries bananas that were frozen some vanilla extract and some honey to your sweeten your taste and um milk to the consistency you want it and i love i always put my mic my ice cream in the microwave so this is like so perfect for me i am in love another thing to soothe the sweet tooth that ain't strictly processed or anything crazy like that all right y'all i gotta enjoy this so i'm getting ready to freeze these <clears throat> for my tomorrow's um ice cream for my treat these get right going in the freezer hey guys so what a day to day what a day thank you um something clicked and i had do i want to do this hmm. okay i write myself notes and sometimes like i told you i'd be forgetting so yeah um something clicked in my head is what i wrote on here do i want to do this all over again i don't i don't and I want to get to a size and a point in my life where I have wiggle room to live, you know. Um, some people, sometimes people want to get to a certain point and then that's it. So it's kind of like from that point, if you gain or do anything from there, you, you know, gain weight or whatever the case may be. It's like you're back at square one. So my goal is to go beyond the point of my ultimate goal. That's my goal. So... Um, today was hectic. Today was hectic. It was hectic, hectic, hectic. Um, and it's, it's crazy because I don't know what went, came over me. Like when I tell you I was craving sweets like crazy, I still get, did good. Y'all seen everything I ate. Y'all seen everything I ate. It's just, I think that I'm not like, it's not like I'm home eating all this crazy stuff all the time, but I think that the problem is since I'm being more mindful of it, it, it's more overwhelming on me. I think that's what the problem is. So with that being said, I'm trying to, um, not think so hard about it, not think so hard about it and say, listen, your journey is a journey to control the things you love and eat in moderation not to eliminate everything that's what my journey is oh yeah i didn't even paint my nails back my natural nails remember i told y'all they be growing it seemed like when i start polishing them that's when they start growing even more it's crazy but um my journey is that and i have to keep that in mind it's like you can want that it's okay to want that it's okay to crave that you are a person who loves that it's okay it's okay and i find myself beating myself up like 
<sighs> I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess up. I, I why am I craving this? Why is it so strong? And it really was like really strong today, like really overwhelmingly strong, like more than any other day so far. It was like really overwhelming. So yeah, I definitely had to input that part of earlier's video in there because I felt like what needed to be said at that time needed to be said. So yeah, so I did decide that weekends um are going to be the days where I am resting at this point um, because I want to ease my way back into this and ease my boy back into working out and all that good stuff. Um, so weekends will be the resting days and weekends will be the days where I probably give other videos on different things. Um, that I want to share. Some may have something to do with the journey, but it won't be like a workout video or sh you, you see in my workout. So I did um, make that decision. And so tomorrow, I mean, today for you guys will be, this will be day four, right? Yeah, which is on a Friday for you. So day five will resume on wait because Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. So this would be day four because we started. No, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm confused as to what day is what day. Hold on, y'all. Let me say something. I was correct. Today is day four for you guys, and Monday will be day five. That's how it's gonna work. And then to go six, seven, eight, nine, you know, going all the way up to next Friday. And then resume the following Monday with workouts. In case I decide, if I do decide to work out on a weekend, then it will resume from that day. So if I say, like, say I want to go on a Saturday, it'll be, like, say I go tomorrow. Like I say, you know what, I want to go to the gym this weekend. I just really want to. So that might be six and seven. I mean, four, five and six. And then Sunday will be seven. You get what I'm saying? So it'll go like that. But you will know the numbers. You can just keep track by just going after the numbers. I'll keep track of the numbers and you'll just follow by the numbers. Um, so yeah, um, that's basically it. Today was hectic. It was hectic, hectic, hectic. Um, I was kind of in this room doing a little bit of nothing, trying to figure out some things I want to start doing just, um, with myself. That ice cream that I just made was the bomb, the bomb. I never made it that way. I always used to do it with bananas and other things, but I never made it with actual, um, strawberries. I would make a banana ice cream and put strawberries on it. So this time I made strawberry banana ice cream. I think it would have been even more um, tasty <coughs> if the strawberries were really sweet. They weren't sweet at all. So I had to add honey because you know that pungent taste would just override the banana. You really can't even taste the banana. So that kind of made me kind of uh. So you see I prep my bananas for tomorrow. So I'm just going to do like a banana ice cream probably with a little bit of caramel on top tomorrow. Um, as a treat um, for myself um, so yeah that's probably what I'm gonna do so yeah I guess what I can do if I don't um, if since I'm not vlogging everything on the weekend I can probably just do snippets of what I eat on the weekend so that way um, I can tell y'all what I've eaten or something. I'll figure it out and then it'll be for Monday. So if I don't work out on the weekends, I can kind of let you guys know what my food intake is like on Monday. Or you think I should, I don't know. It's a lot trying to record. I don't know. I guess I can probably just do a little vlog, a, a, a log of what I'm eating and then put that log in the, the the confession on Monday. Hey, this is what I ate Saturday. This is how Saturday was for me. And this is what I ate Sunday. This is how Sunday was for me. That's the, that's what I think I'll do if I don't work out on the weekends. I'll just put it into the Monday um, the Monday vlog. So I thank you guys so much. I enjoy all of you ladies who are rocking with me. Who are telling me you are in this with me. It makes me feel so good. And I'm not going to stop saying that. Because we got to push. We got to do this. We got to have a reason why we're doing this and mine's is more so of I just want to feel good I want to feel like me I desire to live my best life and being unhealthy overweight and aches and pains and just not feeling secure with your look and your appearance and not feeling confident because you know you're uncomfortable because you are uncomfortable is um not going to make you you know feel good 
So, and if you don't feel good, you don't really look good to you. You know what I mean? So, we just want to get our sexy back. We want to get our sexy back and start feeling more like us and get our healthy back. Take control of our lives. And that's all this is about. Um, yeah. So, that's basically it. I'm trying to think what else. Y'all see what I had for dinner? It was so yummy. And I ate the rice. The gravy made the rice spread. But y'all see my fork on top of it. I try to show y'all that plate was big. And I had everything all the way pushed over to one side. So, I did really good with that. And what I'm trying not to do is create meals where we have leftovers. I'm trying to create meals where we only have enough to eat. And that's it. We All them leftovers we ain't trying to do. So, um... Yeah, that's what my, my goal is to create a meal. So all of us ate, even mom ate. And she was like, oh my gosh, it was so good. So even she ate. And um, every night when she get off work, she comes and eat dinner with us. Or she'll um, grab her food and take it to um you know to her house and enjoy it or whatever the case may be so yeah um that's that's basically what's going on your girl was struggling today i threw in where i was coming from and why earlier and that's it i'm going to continue drinking this big jug right here of water and if i want something sweet i got a cutie on deck if i need it um and i just will be ready for um my next workout which for you is going to be um monday so what i'm doing tomorrow which is friday for me you won't see it till monday um so yeah i'm gonna be preparing my clothes and getting everything ready for in the morning which which is friday um but like i said for you it's monday and it's best for me if i'm gonna daily vlog to be a day ahead of things so that i can get them out early in the morning for people who are getting up early and need that inspiration like you know what it's another new day even if i messed up yesterday i got another day another day to do better another day to do better if you have been this far into this video i'm doing those numbers for a reason and it's it's for a reason so just work with me so with that being said you shall see that number in this video and i'm gonna be creative with the numbers because some people could be uh funny and just see everybody putting a certain number down and then um because they putting that number down they'll put that number down too so i'm gonna be creative y'all know your girl's creative so i'm gonna be creative so i can tell if you basically is rolling with your girl like you say you are because of the simple fact that it's gonna be a certain number according to certain names and certain last names or something like that craziness not craziness but stuff so i can know because this is my life and this is a journey and i don't want to be extra um with taking the time to do stuff that's not necessary if people are not even paying attention to it or watching it you get what i'm saying so i'm doing that for a reason so all right to all of y'all i seen those numbers i'm paying attention i trust me i'm paying attention and um you will see on the screen somewhere in this video the other one well you've probably already seen it by now but yeah all right, love you guys, and remember, stick to your script because you are the best at it, and I will see you guys later, Gators. Let's push another day down. Day four down, let's hit this day five, okay? Let's hit this day five and six and seven and eight and nine and go and go and go. Let it get us.